Chemistry has been Oleg Azarov's passion since a very early age. While primarily an inorganic chemist, he is fascinated with all aspects of the field. He brings a wide-ranging education in science, an eclectic curiosity, and clarity of thought to his research. The 35-year-old professor at Texas A&M University has translated what a colleague calls his encyclopedic knowledge of chemistry into major contributions in both the main group and transition metals areas of the periodic table. For his research success, love of teaching, and commitment to science, the Welch Foundation honors Dr. Ozerov with the 2012 Hackerman Award in Chemical Research. What has always excited me about chemistry is that it's, I think it's a very special field of science. In chemistry, you make your subject every day. You make a new compound, it's new. You routinely, every day, could be holding something that no other human being ever, ever held in their hand. It's a science that's both quantitative, but the one that leaves room for creativity of an individual and for people to realize themselves in a creative way. Dr. Azarov's group explores molecular design targeting either unusual molecular structures or new ways to make or break chemical bonds. He's a very versatile type of chemist in the sense that he studies many things. He studies reactions, looks for unusual bonding. He also works in areas um, where he's trying to use metal chemistry, transition metal, as well as main group to do selective bond cleavage reactions. Dr. Azarov discovered how to break the carbon-fluorine bond, one of the strongest in chemistry, at room temperature and convert it to something more benign. This is particularly important as many of the super greenhouse gases involved in global warming have these types of bonds. In other significant work, he has created new types of pincer ligands which have found broad applications in industry and academic work. These ligands allow exquisite control over the reactivity of transition metal complexes in catalysis and fundamental explorations. We like to make molecules that challenge structural and reactivity paradigms. We like to discover new elementary reactions that have to do with breaking and making of chemical bonds. And ultimately we do all of that with the thought of applying it to catalysis to produce new materials or new molecules or new um, ways to make chemicals. His lab is one of 17 research groups that are part of the National Science Foundation funded Powering the Planet Center for Chemical Innovation project on solar energy. His group's work focuses on developing new ways to make oxygen-oxygen bonds, which are important to storing energy in chemical fuels. I think he thinks in very uh, simple terms. Uh, he has a global view of chemistry, so he understands everything very, very well. Uh, but he does think in very simple terms also. I think he understands that simplicity is key to unlocking a lot of, a lot of science. The other thing I would like people in my group to have, if I were to define it, I would say clarity of thought. Clarity of thought and recognizing what is known, what is not known, what can be known and what cannot be known in science is very important. And I think that's a key to being able to, to solve problems. Whether lecturing in the classroom or working with students in his group, Dr. Azarov finds joy in teaching. Working with students is part of the excitement of this job. Certainly I wanted to be in academia partly because I wanted to, to help students become chemists. I wanted to train students. I wanted to help students understand the beauty of chemistry that I saw. And I think it's very rewarding when maybe you open someone's eyes to the opportunities that they can have as a chemist. Dr. Azarov shares his broad approach to research with his students, requiring his graduates to tackle projects in two or three different areas of science. I try to maintain a pretty broad spectrum of activities in my group because I find that it's a lot easier to, to be a problem solver as opposed to a technician if you sort of have had an opportunity to work on very different things in your graduate career. Oleg is very, very bright, very intelligent, um, curious, and he has extremely strong fundamentals. Oleg is a very strong scientist in his own right, but he also is a good faculty member. He's a good colleague. He shares the load. 
So it's from this strong basic um, commitment to excellence in education that also makes Pollock a good scientist and a good faculty member. Dr. Azarov's interest in chemistry was sparked as a child in Russia. The son of two economists, he grew up in an academic community and started studying chemistry in the seventh grade. Introduced to the University of Kentucky as part of an exchange program, he returned there for his doctorate. It was here that he met his wife, Nicole, who fell for his sense of humor. From the very beginning, he was funny, he made me laugh, he's a really great friend, he's my best friend. Um, he's a great listener, um, he gives great advice. After postdoc work at Indiana University, Dr. Ozerov accepted a faculty position at Brandeis. In 2008, as the Ozerov family was preparing to move to Texas A&M, their daughter Victoria was born. He wanted a little girl from the very beginning. He's like her best friend. Like They play games all the time when he's home. They go on trips together. They love spending time with each other. I think as you grow even a little bit older, you learn that time is really the most precious commodity in your life. And I find my work demanding and interesting, and it sort of consumes a lot of my attention and time. But I try to dedicate the rest of the time that I may have to my family. With a childhood in Siberia and later in Moscow, and an early career in the Midwest and Northeast U.S., Dr. Ozerov relishes living in a warm climate. He also finds Texas A&M rewarding on a professional level. He has high expectations for a current project that could develop a pincer-based catalyst to hydrogenate biomass molecules. If successful, the approach would use hydrogen produced through solar energy to turn biological compounds into hydrocarbon fuels. I think the project that, that we are working on is really at the core of our molecular design desires and, I and ideas, but it also would be one that can make an impact in the world and maybe, you know, it's appropriately sized for one group to actually accomplish something. Scientifically, I would like to do more than we have done so far. I would like to make more discoveries that are making a difference. I would like to have new ideas that uh, you know, change how chemists think about chemistry or how people think about chemistry. Building on a solid foundation of chemical knowledge, Dr. Ozerov turns his clear gaze on key problems in chemistry, asking the right questions and using creative techniques to find the answers. He shares his passion for knowledge with his students and contributes to the chemistry community. The Welch Foundation is pleased to recognize rising star Oleg Azarov with the Hackerman Award in Chemical Research. <laughs>